Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching CHM Tech and today we're going to be talking about unlock patterns. Android users have a few ways they can unlock their screen should they choose to have it locked in the first place. One rather interesting way of doing this is by drawing a pattern on a 3x3 matrix consisting of 9 contact points. Now, a lot of people who use this mechanism keep it simple. The common L pattern is one of the easiest patterns to guess in a relatively small amount of tries. If you're going to use this type of lock screen and you want to have at least a decent amount of security, you should probably go with a more complex combination. But how many combinations are there? Now, for those of you who are here just for the number, it's 389,112. So if you clicked on the video just for that and you don't really care about the why and the how, well, thanks for watching. But if you're a bit more curious, here are some more interesting facts. The Android pattern lock screen consists of nine contact points arranged in a three by three matrix. Acceptable patterns are conditioned by three main rules. Rule number one, a minimum of four contact points must be connected and the maximum number is obviously nine. This implies that a pattern can never be just a straight line and that it will always have at least one direction change. Rule number two, a contact point can only be used once. So once a particular point is connected with another, you cannot use it again. However, you can cross over it to get to an unused point, but we'll get to that after rule number three, which implies that an intermediate point between two connected points must be included in the pattern order unless it was previously used. For example, the L-shaped pattern that you can see on screen will always be in the order 1, 4, 7, 8, despite the fact that 1, 7, 8 would create the exact same pattern. In this particular situation, point 4 has to be included because it wasn't previously used. In other words, a direct connection between point 1 and point 7 isn't possible due to the vacancy of the intermediate point 4. However, if point 4 was previously used, a direct 1 to 7 connection would have been possible by simply crossing the already occupied intermediate point. It's also possible to cross over a previously created line. For example, if you create this pattern in the order 21369. Under the conditions created by these rules, you can create a total of 389,112 different patterns. There's a video you can find on YouTube that shows all the possible combinations in 12 hours. Now the number of possible patterns would be much bigger if it wasn't for the restrictions implied by the three rules. Still, this type of lock screen does offer a very decent amount of combinations. And there are some really complicated ones you could create, but the more complicated they get, the harder they are to memorize. Research shows that a lot of people use the simplest of patterns, which are consequently the easiest to guess. A study done by Martha Loge, a 2015 graduate at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, showed how predictable Android users can be when it comes to choosing an unlock pattern. After analyzing almost 4,000 unlock patterns, she found that 44% of them started from the top left contact point and that 77% of all patterns started from one of the four corners. The average number of contact points was 5 and around 10% of patterns were made in the shape of a letter, often corresponding to the first initial of the user or a user's loved one. For more stats regarding the topic, be sure to check out the links that will be listed in the description. But besides the predictability of human behavior, another thing that can give away your unlock pattern are smudges. In a paper titled Smudge Attacks on Smartphone Touchscreens, researchers from the Department of Computer and Information Science of the University of Pennsylvania showed that this kind of attack can result in full or partial pattern recovery in many different situations. Of course, if your pattern is set to be visible, a potential attacker may not even need to analyze any smudges he or she may create an opportunity to actually see your pattern and since so many people use very simple ones, they're often much easier for an attacker to memorize than a PIN or a password. You can also find online sources of information explaining how to completely bypass the pattern lock screen, but then again you can find methods for breaching all kinds of security systems these days. With that said, by no means does this info imply that you should stop using unlock patterns, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Just use patterns with more contact points. Make crossovers, which will make it much harder for someone to figure out your pattern, even if they're looking over your shoulder. Have in mind that you can totally turn off the visibility of your pattern, and don't forget to wipe your 
screen. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay strong.